one big ton here. Wanted to show off my P2002 EverQuest emulator gameplay. I wanted to show off my setup. So right now I'm in a power level session with myself. I got a 53 enchanter and a 52 shaman. Currently power leveling my level 17 necromancer. So I just want to do a little gameplay footage to give you an idea of kind of how I catch my characters up and do the three boxing that's allowed on this server. So to start things off, I usually do the boon of the guru, followed by the damage shield that the enchanter does, as well as haste. I put on regrowth. Then Bon Kai. My six head bon since heading Kai. skill went up and a bunch of other skills went up because they just gained a level. That's what all that noise you're hearing is. Now I'll go ahead and do a pull. Bon Kai. Nice double stun. I really have to heal myself. Bon Kai. Every time you hear Ichigo yell out Bon Kai, is me getting a skill up. That's done with a program called Gina. Bon Kai. Just monitoring monitoring my combat log. Looking for key phrases. Bon Kai. Such as you have gotten better at getting pretty much destroyed Animal here. Interrupted. Don't want a superior heal, it'd be a waste. Okay, that was uh, me gaining experience, which unfortunately is really loud. So I'm gonna go ahead and disable that. So it's just the Gina is looking for the, through the log for the phrase you've gained experience or you gained party experience. And when it does, it plays an audio trigger. That Final Fantasy victory music that you just heard. So I went ahead and turned that off. Otherwise, every time I gained experience, you would hear it. But uh, nothing I can wear. Pretty sure this dude doesn't have anything other than a robe. And I got this two hand blunt just because it hits really hard. And I think I had like a full inventory on both of these characters right here of those stabs. Yeah. I'll do a few kills just to give you an idea. I think it's double XP weekend, but I'm not entirely sure. It's hard to tell because I'm power leveling myself. Go ahead and redo the damage shield, and I'll use my enchanter to pull. Get these dudes with a tashin. This is pretty much what I do. Just keep an eye on his health. 
Make sure his buffs are up and pretty easy. Got a life tap proc hits for 31. Pretty good at this level. Do a hand blunt skill up. Yeah, see, I just crushed him for 40 as a necro. <laughs> Twenty four percent to thirty two with one kill, so I don't know if it's the words that I need. Yeah, I think it's the words that I need. The research skills. Switch back to my enchanter. Grab another guy. So on this server, the drop rate of items is different than you would see on, like, P99. At least it feels different. I don't know if it is different. But yeah, like, I was killing giants one day, and in a single session, I was able to get an entire inventory of forest loops. So, I don't know. I think that's a little unusual. Yep. Yeah. So I'm about to lose my illusion, Bond so I'll guy. switch back to my enchanter, go ahead and redo that. Yep, yeah, pretty easy. Got such high level buffs on that it makes it simple. Yeah, he doesn't even have his head out or anything. Not sure if it's very useful, but... Yeah, I think the level 12, I think, is the highest level spells that he's got. Keep pulling. Get him to around level 20 or so, and then I'll go get all his spells and whatnot. So, yep, it's an easy thing. So my damage shield just wore off, so I'll go ahead and refresh that. Bully buff minus self buffs, which at this level aren't very useful. Just working that casting skill, I guess. Yep, crushed her for 40 again. 32, 38. It's really hard for this for this level. Especially with all the buffs I got. So I crushed her for 40 and then life tapped her for 31 to kill her, so... Kinda OP. Yep. Pretty much what I do when I'm kind of bored and not really interested in doing anything bon guy. that takes too much thought. Pretty mindless, you just kind of bon just sit here and whack away and bon basically buff management. Just keep the buffs up and get e EXP for days. Might have to heal myself. Get to 40 and drop a CH, pretty much.
So to switch windows is hotkeyed to Alt 1, 2, and 3. So if I want to switch to my enchanter, I just hit up Alt 2. If I want to switch to the shaman, Alt 1. Then Alt 3 goes back to my necro. Pretty easy. Pretty, pretty easy. The target resisted. Resist. Yep. The, the server population on this server is really low, so usually I'm soloing. Well, not really soloing, but playing by myself, I guess. I crush her for one. Not sure if I need the words off these guys, but I'll take them. Channeling both went up. Hit him with engulfing darkness. These guys do try to run sometimes. About to lose my illusion. Go ahead and pop over and redo that. Throw myself a heal. I actually think he was trying to run away there. More words and some kind of bandit dirt. I think I might already have it. Yeah. So that was lore, so I already have one. I can't pick up another one. Probably clear this camp out once and call it a video. People talking in guild. So I joined this guild because uh, another EQ player posted some videos on his YouTube channel of him playing on here. So I figured I would uh, piggyback on that. I like to do the whole boxing thing anyway. Fizzles and interrupts. Yeah, that pop fizz sound is me fizzling. Redcon, so he's kicking my butt. 
Not as bad as Yellow Eyes, though. That 150 point damage proc stun that you guys is pretty, pretty bad. That wasn't too bad. Got ourselves another an even. Bon guy. I'm running at me all super slow like. Only a few seconds left on that damage shield, so go ahead and refresh it. And throw a regrowth on to Marcus. Everything else is still up. Got haste. So I'll pretty much be able to get my Necromancer up to the same level as these guys. In pretty much no time. The guild's talking about double XP, so I think that's a thing. I'll probably ding off this cut purse right here. The Enchanter's Damage Shield does 11 points of damage on the hit. Not very good, but it's better than nothing. Combined with the 11 damage a tick off Engulfing Darkness, it's doing quite a bit of damage to him. Plus the occasional 40 melee damage. Goodness, that chick had a lot of loot on her. Alright, so losing regrowth on him. Regrowth or Go ahead and do another pull. <laughs> it's funny that they have the uh, little sound glitch that was from what I remember from here back on live when it first came out. Depending on where you were standing, they would just like re repeat the sound file over and over oh and over. God. Conjuring 60. Almost 90 for defense, which I think is max for this level. Marcus interrupted. No, oh, I want to assist and give him boon again. There's level 18. Yeah, I think for an intel caster, I think 20 is the spell level. So I'll probably leave here at level 20. I'll just work his defense and stuff by letting him tank. As my level gets closer to these guys' level, I'll be able to start landing that melee more often. 
something wore off. What I lose? Damage shield? Yeah. So this server is going to be pop locked. So it only goes up to planes of power. And I'm pretty sure that the frog lock playable race won't be a thing. So the name of this character, which is Frecro, comes from that. I had a necromancer, or I have a necromancer on live that is named Frecro. Last name's Mancer, so oh Frecro Mancer. And it's a frog lock, so. I'm really creative with the names. Retro interrupted. Yeah, there's a fizzle, of course. I pretty much play the same way on uh, P99 minus the boxing, but I have like the audio triggers for when I get fizzles and resists and stuff like that. I'd like to play on Agnar, but. I don't want to pay. I don't want to pay to play EverQuest, so I'm just gonna have to pass on that. I know I could get Chrono and all that, but I don't have millions of platinum on a, on any kind of server to get it. Last time I saw Chrono on uh, the server I play on for the live server, it was like two or three million platinum. Bon I think I might have a couple, maybe like a hundred thousand platinum if I bon put Kai. every account and every character together. A little over a hundred thousand, maybe. And our damage shield again. Throw a little heal on him. Alright, I think I'll do two more kills and call it a video. Actually, we'll go ahead and pull them both. Marcus interrupted. Lock her down. Bon Hopefully, God. I can kill this guy in time. See if I can land a d another dot on him. Bon Alright. So, we're losing Boone again. Or 
redo that. Go ahead and redo the damage shield. Go ahead and remez this guy just in case. So this right here, or we don't really need to, but oh well. So this that that technique right there is how I would have handled an ad if I was actually fighting EXP mobs for like these guys. So I'd establish aggro on the one guy, and then I would just like occasionally tab to the enchanter and just remez ra kind of randomly. I mean, I roughly know how long it lasts, so I would just sort of do some stuff and then get eventually back to the enchanter and then remez and just keep it locked down while I'm doing my do. Yeah, she's going to be pretty grumpy. Bunkai. And redo our clarity since it wore off. Fizzle like a boss. I should be doing uh, the intellectual superiority so I reduce my fizzle chance, but I'm not casting enough spells. And I'm still like 90% mana, so it's not that big a deal. Bunkai. I'm just slowly whittling these guys away. Should be any second now. And dead. Alright. More words. Alright. Well, thanks for joining me on this little display. I'm not entirely sure what that was about, but just kind of wanted to show off my P2002 playstyle. If you like the video, click the like button. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe. Leave comments down below, and I'll see you guys next time.